So in the earlier lecture, I talk about uh, that uh, homogeneity of time leads to the law of conservation of energy. Now, in today's lecture, I will discuss that isotropy of space this leads to the law of conservation of angular momentum. So let me first describe that. What is isotropy of space? Isotropy of space means all directions are equivalent, means a physical system remains invariant. invariant under the effect of rotation, under the effect of rotation of coordinate system, right, that means that Lacrangian is invariant. under rotation of coordinate system, under rotation of coordinate system, system, and this leads to the law of conservation of angular momentum. Law of conservation of angular momentum Right. So for this, let us proceed as follows. Consider a coordinate axis. Say it is x-axis, it is y-axis, and it is z-axis. Suppose we are having a vector r. and uh, it's represented by point A, and its position vector is R vector. Now, say it is rotated about the z-axis. It was represented like this, and say at any time this point will be at this point. So, means it is rotated, and at some point it will be somewhere here. Say, let me call it as R prime, and it is a point A prime, and this is the center about which this R is rotating. And say, this point is C, and say it is making an angle, delta phi, with this A to A prime, and say it is an angle, theta, which it is making. Now, it is a plane about which it is rotating, xy plane about which this R is rotating in this way. So that means this always a perpendicular, right? So, there is a, this, there is a displacement vector and this magnitude is known as this one delta r. So, that means from this diagram that OA vector prime must be equal to OA plus OA a prime. Or I can say that R prime is equal to R vector plus delta R vector. This is a vector form. This is a vector form. Now, but if I want to calculate the magnitude of this, means if I am interested to calculate the magnitude of this, so for this, let us consider this diagram. This is OCA diagram uh, or triangle. If I consider this OCA, then from this triangle, right angle triangle OCA, I can write down that uh, AC upon OA is equal to sine of theta, and AC will remain as it is. AC is basically it's a radial vector, and upon R is equal to sine of theta. 
so i can write down that ac is equal to r sin theta but it's making an angle delta phi when it reaches at point a a prime so that means this delta phi is equal to length of the arc length of the arc upon radius and length of the arc is basically it is equivalent to a a prime divided by radius and radius is r sin theta which i have evaluated here because it is ac so that means delta phi can be written as r sin theta sorry not delta phi but a a prime and a a prime its magnitude is delta r magnitude and it is r sin theta and delta phi that's what i am getting <coughs> now as i have considered and talked about earlier that r will become r prime and this is r plus delta r and where i have evaluated the value of magnitude of it like this and if i express the things in terms of uh, vector form so in vector form i can write down that delta phi sorry delta r is equal to delta phi cross r and delta phi is along uh, vector is along z axis z axis right along z axis right so this is the vector along the z axis right so it is delta phi along this direction so now delta r is equal to this one and uh, this leads to a new relationship that is uh, delta v if i take a differential then delta v comes out to delta phi cross v vector also as r changes to r prime this leads to change in the velocity and that means velocity changes from v to v prime such that it is v plus delta v right that's what we are getting and i know that what is the value of delta v will be this one consider now the lagrangian because i have to uh, use the concept of lagrangian should be invariant under rotation so it's a rotation about uh, some angle so for that let us proceed as follows so now consider the lagrangian so if i consider a lagrangian the lagrangian is depending upon that's r1 r2 and so on ri comma r1 dot r2 dot and so on ri dot this is the <coughs> lagrangian but under rotation under the effect of rotation this lagrangian will change is from l to l prime but l prime is equal to l plus delta l that's what we have to keep in mind now delta l is equal to summation i curly l over curly r i delta r i plus summation i curly l over curly r i dot delta r i dot that's what we have to keep in mind let r i dot is equal to v i or v i so r is equal to vi and uh, lagrange's equation of motion which we will consider curly l over curly r i plus d upon dt curly l over curly r i dot and this is the lagrange's equation of motion lagrange's equation of motion which we have to consider and if i consider this and use 
its value here from here then this lagrange change in lagrangian it can be written as uh, summation over i d upon dt curly l over curly r i dot delta r i and delta r i will be because it's a magnitude so delta r i can be written as delta phi cross r it is its value and here it is curly summation over i and it is curly l over curly r i dot it is delta r i dot that means it is a change in velocity so it means uh, i can write down it is delta phi cross b this is its value and it will become negative because if i bring r here and delta phi here so it i can write down it as d upon dt curly l over curly r i dot it is r i cross delta phi r i cross delta phi plus and it's again will become negative and it is curly l over curly r i and v i cross delta phi but but l is equal to 1 by 2 m i r i dot square minus b b is the potential it is r1 r2 and so on r i and it's a summation so that means curly l over curly r i dot it will become m i r i dot and it is equal to pi at some momentum and when i take its derivative curly l over curly r i dot then it is pi dot because i am interested to calculate this value if i use it here then this lagrangian will become lagrangian will become minus summation pi dot r i cross delta phi minus summation p i v cross delta phi which we have to keep in mind and it's a summation over i and summation can be taken outside so if i take uh, summation outside then it will become minus summation over i and inside it is p i dot r i cross delta phi minus sorry plus pi v cross delta phi and now let me recall some vector triple product result that if a dot b cross c it can be written as b dot c cross a and it is c a cross p so if i use this here at these two, uh, two places then this delta l should be written as minus summation over i it is uh, delta phi p i dot cross r i plus delta phi pi cross b and let me rearrange this again okay? this can be rearranged as plus delta phi i will change this it will become r i cross p i dot plus 
delta phi and it is uh, v cross p i sorry v i cross p i i will be here and uh, this delta phi can be taken outside so i can write down delta phi summation over i r i cross p i dot plus v i cross p i and p i means r i dot so let me write down it as r i dot it is r i dot so this can be written if i apply a product rule here in worst manner then it is delta phi and summation over i it is d upon dt it is r i cross p i right that's what i am getting but delta l should be for lagrangian to be invariant but lagrangian is invariant that means delta l should be equal to 0 so if i use this then this must be equal to 0 that means the delta phi summation over i d upon dt r i cross p i it must be equal to 0 and this is possible if and only if this quantity is constant means or i can say that d upon dt summation over r i it can also be written like this and this is equal to 0 which implies that uh, this quantity summation r i cross p i it must be constant of motion this is possible if and only if this is this and what is this r i cross p i it is the angular momentum so sum of sorry it is orbital momentum orbital uh, sorry uh, not angular uh, yeah it is angular momentum so that means it is a constant quantity because l i is equal to r i cross p i so this must be constant so thus i can say that uh, angular momentum is conserved thus we can say that say that angular momentum is is conserved right so that's what we are getting here so that means uh, isotropy of uh, space leads to the law of conservation of angular momentum thanks for watching this lecture